I literally have to be like water and I have to be like this label on my picture unbreakable That was my intro. Welcome to Delisa's Life Dance. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to be like water. What do I mean by that? How to be like water? Well, this is a must-see video because I'm giving you some tips in times of a crisis that are just very important for us to take a hold of. We don't know things. We don't know a lot of things right now this day and age. I don't know what is going to be there for me at work. I don't know if I'm gonna have my personal protective equipment. I don't know if I'm gonna have patients there or not. I don't know how many surgeries I'm gonna have. All I know for sure is that I've gotta show up and I've gotta be ready. So what does that mean? That means when I'm at home and when I'm in a relaxed state like this and talking to you on my YouTube channel, that I am like water. I move like water. I wake up. I'm clear, having that clarity, having that flow. I do my yoga practice, that's the flow. Having the clarity, meditating, taking that time to breathe. But also using your mind. I use my mind as I go out and I do those daily things that are required of me. Getting gas, fixing, I had to fix tire today, um, grocery shopping, those things still continue. So what do we have to do? We have to use our mind. And what my, what my mentor has always told me was model success. So right now, personally, I'm modeling success. I'm looking at those successful countries, those successful places that have been able to not beat the virus, but be able to stay alive during the virus. And so I'm watching them. I'm looking at different things and trust me, I am not internalizing it because what we focus on expands. So I am witnessing what they're doing and I'm doing a pretty fairly well, good job on modeling that. So model success. If you're told to stay indoors, not to gather, because that's how you're not gonna, you're not gonna spread it and you're not gonna get it. If you stay at home, if you stay in your little microcosm of the community, of your own little family community, you monitor their movements, you slow this process down, and you flatten what they call the curve. I am going to keep this relatively short because I'm what? I'm going to continue to remain in flow. And I'm going to continue to drink my water, my alkaline water. I'm going to continue to eat healthily. I've spoken to you about my salads. I've told you about Carla, Carla Hall's uh, soul food every day in, in celebration. And I've been eating very healthily. And I have not been resting as well. I know there was a new moon. You can look at my um, one of my dear friends and in my mastermind group. I speak about these women in my YouTube channel now. Her name is Debbie Jade. I'm going to put the link below and she is speaking to us about the new moon and the power of the new moon. So I will put her link below. So thank you Jade for that. I do understand why I didn't sleep that much <laughs> with the new moon. So these are things, tips on how to flow, how to stay in floor, flow, and how to be like the, the pitcher, the water pitcher that I showed you that was made out of this. I looked at it and it said unbreakable. And I thought, I have to be unbreakable as a nurse, as a mother, as a wife, as a person, as a human being. And we all have these categories. We must dig deep and we must become unbreakable. That is what my colleagues are doing right now in New York. Hats off to them and to all those. I have many family and friends in the state and city of New York, and I am very prayerful for them. And I am sending that love and that healing energy to them because we're all in the fight of our lives right now. And I wanna keep on coming to you and giving you some information that hopefully will help you throughout your day. Washing your hands, not touching your face, I'm now wearing a mask when I go out, be just, just because I'm wearing a mask that is a filtered mask 
when I'm out in the community because I can't always guarantee that I'm gonna be six feet away from another person if I go to the grocery store. So, um, and that's kind of a gathering in those lines that are outside. So think of that, model success. I try to go when there's not as many people outside. And um, we have, uh, it's a world of duality. You have people that will listen and you have people that will not listen. And now this is the critical point, those that are not listening and not heeding the warnings that have been given to us. So please listen, listen to what's happening where things are slowing down and what they did in those countries and those communities and those areas. I'm in Northern California. We've been sheltering in place for a while. I think it's been at least a week now. Yes, I still go to work. Yes, there are still people functioning in jobs that are essential services and thank you to them, hats off to them. Um, but there's very much less movement around the city and the Bay Area. It's a little difficult. Some people wanna gather. They wanna go hiking together. They wanna to go travel to other communities and hang out. I mean, that's, don't do that. Young people are being affected now. Keep everyone inside. So that is what I have to tell you today. I'm going to be like water. And I'm going to flow. And I'm going to breathe. And I'm going to be here for you. And I pray you'll be here for me. Because this is Delisa's Life Dance, where life is a dance. And you do fall. And you do get back up. So like, subscribe, share, and I will be talking to you very soon on a fantastic Friday. Stay in, guys. Practice social distancing. I love you.